Alrighty guys, happy new year, first video of the year. It's going to be a millworm colony update. Three weeks ago, well, it's been three weeks and two days now at this point. But on 21 days after I started my millworm colony, I found my first baby millworms crawling around in the wheat bran. So it took three weeks. I want to try and get those on camera. I don't know. I hope my lens will zoom in good enough. I can barely... It takes me like 10 minutes just staring at the wheat bran, waiting on a piece to move to even be able to zoom in on one and actually find it. So they're really tiny. Alrighty guys, here are my two beetle breeding chambers in their current state. The one on the left was the original. I just had combined all of them, all the beetles that had hatched or that, that had morphed rather from my uh, first thousand millworms. I had all those in the left container. And then as I found the pupae, I just threw them over here into the one on the right. So I've got two colonies going. Eventually, this will be my colony. I'll put some of the egg crates in there and stuff for them to climb on. And then I'll just leave a small layer of the wheat bran at the bottom like it is now. And then also I'll be able to give them their food. I'm going to start grinding up some dog food for them put some vitamin calcium powder in with that and continue to give them the uh, potato and carrot for their moisture and some food as well. So, but what's happening is it looks like, I think that the potatoes are molding because they're sitting down on that wheat bran. So when I get that cardboard, the uh, egg container in there, I'll be able to put that stuff up on top and I think that'll improve it. I'm just waiting on the egg cart to come in in the mail. So for the time being, I just threw these cardboard pieces in here, which you can see they like to crawl on. It gives them a little more surface space. The way I've been doing this, the millworm beetle breeding chamber has the screen on the bottom. I don't want to spill this, but you can see the screen and it's falling out now. And the eggs, fall down in the bottom here along with chewed up wheat bran probably some poop and whatnot so anyway the eggs just fall straight down in this catch container underneath the beetle breeding chamber now I'm going to show you what I do with those eggs I'm getting to the good part guys I'm going to pick out one of these little baby millworms but I just want to show you the full process and what I've been doing to get myself up to this point this is my millworm sizing tower I put the eggs from the bottom of my beetle breeding chambers that I just showed you in the very bottom drawer every Sunday. So each week these drawers go up. So here we are. It's only Saturday, but I'm going to go ahead and do this just to show you. I'll take the empty one out since I haven't made it all the way to the top yet. And then I'll bring all of these up. This way, as I bring them up, the, the, the millworms get larger as they come up. So the top drawer will have the largest millworms. That will be the worms that I'm using to feed my geckos. So I don't want to have to be bending down to the bottom to get my millworms out every time. If they're up here, I can just stand there and grab them easily. Now I have an empty spot all the way at the bottom. I'll just simply take my tray. These are the millworm eggs. Well, they're in there, they're so small. I don't even know if I could see them or not. I can barely see the baby millworms. They go in like that. And then I'll cover that with about an inch of additional fresh wheat bran so that whenever the babies begin to hatch they have something to eat off of
and we'll just kind of get that evened out. And here in about three weeks, I'll have mealworm babies hatching. We'll take this with the new eggs, put them in the bottom. That's it, guys. And that just constantly rotates through the process. Eventually, I'll have my largest ones in my top drawer. I'll be taking my pupae out and putting them with my uh, in my beetle breeding chamber. Actually, I'll be putting them in a container until they fully morph into the beetle, which will go into my breeding chamber. And then once I've completely exhausted this bin up here of all the mealworms for feed or pu and or pupae, I'll go ahead and just empty this out. That'll get rid of all the poop and whatnot that came with the eggs from the beetle chamber. And then this will start as my fresh bin for the next new eggs. And it'll go right back down in the bottom. And all the ones in between will rotate back up. All right, that's what we do. The way I keep my mealworms, I give them carrots and potatoes and or potatoes. Actually, I probably have both in here. These are some mealworms that I had to buy just because I ran out. I've had to buy 2,000 since I started the breeding chamber. I just went ahead and bought some little ones. They were way too small, which are right here. I bought 1,000 of the, uh, I don't remember, I think they're a quarter inch. The smallest size, and they were way too small to even use as feed, so then I had to go and buy another 1,000 of the large ones which is what's here. So let's get into my hatch. I started this three weeks ago. So I got four bins in here now because I just now put one. So, but this is my oldest hatchling. The, the first eggs I put in went into this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find one of these guys. Alrighty guys, I found one. It only took me maybe a minute look at that baby guys look at that thing this is my finger here's my pinky look at that little bitty thing alrighty guys there's the baby I put a regular millworm beside it he's about an inch long of course there's a penny for a size reference also how cool is that my first baby millworms Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Let me know if you liked the video. Leave a comment below. I'm going to zoom out and show you how small this guy actually is. You can't see him anymore. You kind of can, but he's basically gone.